What's up, YouTube? This is Trevor, um, with Atypical Vlogs, and I'm here to talk to you today about somewhat of a more serious topic than what we've covered in past videos, um, and that is the whale attack that occurred on the 24th of February, this Wednesday. On this Wednesday at SeaWorld Orlando, a killer whale or orca named Tilly Coom attacked and killed a trainer at the park by dragging her underwater and thrashing her around. And she wasn't mauled to death, that was determined to not be the cause of death. When paramedics arrived, they couldn't re revive her, so it was some, so it was drowning or some side effect thereof. Now, this is kind of sobering, especially because we see this kind of thing in video games all the time. I reference SeaWorld Tycoon, which was a popular game for the millennial generation, along with Roller Coaster Tycoon and its ilk. However, in real life, it's a much harsher reality when something like this happens. That sounds terrible. <laughs> um, Just keep going. Now, this, is hap this whale had a death associated with it. In 1999, a man was found in Tilly Coombs' tank who was dead of hypothermia in the 50 degree water, but there were signs of an attack by the whale on his body, and that though that wasn't the cause of death, that could have probably contributed to it, whether he jumped in or was pulled in by the whale. A visitor who had visited the zoo and seen the show a couple of days earlier told the Associated Press that she noticed that the whales were acting strangely like they were when she had seen the show earlier, so I don't know if that's something to do with the whales mating season or what. We noticed that the whales were agitated and nervous. Before I started making this video, I reviewed some home footage that was taken before the whale was attacked. I cannot find the whale, the actual footage of the whale attack on the internet. It did seem like the whale was being annoyed by the water. There was, it was like a show where they threw water on it and other stuff that would irritate me if I was a 17 foot long aquatic mammal. Although this is definitely the whale's fault, it was pretty much unprovoked and it was supposedly already trained. So. If this was a dog, for instance, the dog would probably be put down, but since it's, I think the orca whale is endangered, and since it's trained and probably expensive, there won't probably be any legal or moral repercussions for the whale itself. However, I had, I have heard that the show will be continuing, however, humans will not be part of the show with this whale or with any of the other orca whales at the SeaWorld amusement parks, so that's probably a good thing for all of us. So beware the killer whale menace, Trevor out.